in Juneau, Alaska. That's it. outside already. It's probably like 10 degrees. It's gonna be chilly. I will fix my hair and get dressed. But last night I put out a card. Every night you get a card that you can order room service for the next morning. And as long as it's outside by 2 a.m. it will bring it to you. So it should come any time now. It's about 7.15 in the morning. Although we just went back an hour through the night. I gotta see you again. So we lost an hour of sleep. I'm up quite early. But my plan is to eat do a little workout, meet the family for like a gathering, and then I'm actually gonna go nap before our excursion later. That was the plan in my head, but I think I should make myself look semi-presentable to eat breakfast in bed. Okay, so this morning I ordered a coffee, which I love that it comes in this big canister and they bring soy milk. And then I ordered the continental breakfast, which was supposed to have fruit, yogurt, and assorted pastries. We've learned a lesson things are smaller. Again, we appreciate this. I've also got some butter and jam. Love the Welch's or Weck jars. And then I ordered granola, which was supposed to come with some yogurt. <laughs> but I did get a banana, which is actually for a snack later. And orange juice. So no yogurt. But uh, we'll just use my extra soy milk and make a little parfait because that's the carbs I want to load before my workout. Those pastries were yum. I just want to make a note though that all the fruit and vegetables have been really amazing on board. We we're kind of playing this joke last night like we're only in day three of I think it's technically eight days it's seven nights so what's the food like towards the end when it's been on this ship and like provisioned for a week already and also that being said we're going to Alaska and as a Canadian I know that we can't grow a lot of our produce so like the watermelon watermelon is really good but I know it's not coming locally. So that flip side is you're not definitely not eating like local food. And I think if you were eating local food, you wouldn't be eating like any fruits, some vegetables for sure. Maybe no, but it is what it is. Like we just, the climate, you can't. So it has to get shipped up, but I'm going to continue indulging in my coffee and enjoying this view because I feel so spoiled to just sit here in silence and drink my coffee. <laughs> we'll catch you in a second. My hair looks like it did this morning. That was a nice little workout. I'm definitely tired today. I did not sleep enough. We lost an hour of sleep, but that was a nice little workout and the view is just magical. Really trippy to be like stationary on a bike, but be moving. But now that I've just come back to my room, I think we actually stopped in the middle of the water. We weren't supposed to arrive to Juneau until about 1 p.m. I definitely don't think we're at port, but I'm gonna try and get it on camera. There is two other cruise ships in the far distance and I'm wondering if they get priority for coming across the water and or... I can't imagine that we're actually docked. I don't know where we are. <laughs> yeah, there's two other cruise ships. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't know, but I feel like so stationary. I feel like they have docked us in. So I'll have to update you later. Just gonna get changed and go meet the fam jam. I just came back to my room after surprising my dad with custom made t-shirts by my mom that I'll say happy birthday either to dad, his name, or her husband because um, my siblings partners are on board with us. Yeah, I just came back to like relax and the view is just so magical out my window. Hard to see because it's so backlit but i'm just sitting here with my laptop dump my memory card and um just having a moment of i might take a nap since i said i was so tired before we go port and explore which is really exciting 
I feel like this day three vlog has started with me never looking like I fully have woken up, but I just took a marvelous nap. <sighs> Feeling groggy froggy, but I will wake up and be alert. We have a carnival boat right here and the people next door to me, they're on their deck right now. And I overheard them that one of the reasons they chose Holland America versus Carnival is because Carnival, when you dock, you don't actually get to go to port. They just anchor, which means you have to take kind of like water taxis, let's call them, to get off the boat and back on the boat, which I find really helpful information. So I'm guessing that we can just like get off and on. Going to finally make myself look like a human and join mom and dad for lunch. Back to the days of Vancouver attire. All black. You can't even see me. <laughs> My blunnies. Black, black, black. We're gonna head off. We just had lunch in the buffet, which is really nice. I had some rice and veg, and we're gonna head off um, into the town of Juneau, come back on, have another snack before we go for tonight's excursion. But this is a little elevator area, which is normally like crazy busy. And then here are all the stairs, which I made it a rule to always be taking the stairs. I've stuck to it. I'm gonna put their blundstones in. Blundstone crew. Yeah. I know you don't want to be in the vlog, but your shoe can be in the vlog. I don't Blundstone. think you want Blundstone sponsor us. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I got a couple yeah. fun facts for you about Juneau. It is the capital of Alaska. And also something to note is that everything here has to either be delivered by boat or plane. You cannot access Juneau by car, which is kind of crazy considering there's like five cruise ships in there. And it's not the biggest city in Alaska by population, but they have almost as many bald eagles as humans here. Anchorage would be the biggest by population. And Anchorage is also the equal distance from Tokyo to Russia to LA, I think it was. So it's kind of this like perfect hub in the middle. So yeah, it's a cute little town. minute walk from the cruise ship is the little government governor's house i guess the governor of alaska <laughs> Ta -da. alaska governor's mansion a sum of forty thousand dollars was authorized under the public building act of 1910 and construction began in 1912. governor walter d clark held the first open house january 1st 1913. <music> like a full babushka right now because it is chilly here we are at mendel glacier not sure how you walk across and we're gonna go explore yeah there's a rule we can only spend 90 minutes in the park or that's when our bus will pick us up and we've uh, gone nowhere so far because there's thousands of people here off all the cruise ships and the and the buses right mom so hopefully we'll take uh the sign to nymph falls to see the waterfall into the glacier that's the plan okay we're a group of five on this excursion we got him let's go we're professional hikers <laughs> yeah, right. if he can do it we can too go 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 let's go we're going to nugget falls She was helping some other people get down the slippery rock because some people forgot to wear their blunnies. Not 
sure if you'll be able to hear me at all, but here we have Nugget Falls. And over there we have the Mendel Glacier. That water is probably freezing, but it's so beautiful with the open sky, tree surrounding us, probably a few bears, definitely some bald eagles. It's pretty magical. review we're given 90 minutes to explore here it's just not enough time we thought that you would actually get to go on the glacier or near it and instead this walk at least is only to the waterfall which is beautiful if i can give any suggestion it's to actually go to the columbia ice fields in alberta because you get to take a bus on to the glacier a little underwhelmed but beautiful the waterfall itself is beautiful fantastic cruise after an awesome excursion going to the glacier and the tram the tram was so nice to be able to see the bird's eye view of of um skagway and the port and everything but it was kind of crazy because there was five cruise ships in at once and i think we're all actually departing tonight too so 9 30 was our all aboard i was back on ship around 7 30. mom and i went for dinner and then some of the other of our family joined us for dinner but dinner was 10 out of 10 and i feel like in canada i would pay 50 bucks for this kind of dinner and i feel so blessed that this is like all included i had a it was called gold rush soup which was a fennel tomato soup with creme fraiche but Honestly, it was just this really rich tomato soup and I want another bowl so badly. And then I had salmon. And if you're wondering if I'm vegan, because some of my friends always ask me, I'm not vegan. I do identify more as vegetarian, sometimes pescatarian. I had salmon. I can literally watch salmon jump out of the water here. So for me, eating plant-based is for environmental reasons always. And the fact that the salmon is so close and this is like one of the main pieces that bring economy to Alaska and to these smaller towns. So I had salmon and then an almond tart for dessert, which was like a marzipan almond cake. So delicious. Yeah, it's just like a really nice dinner, but I'm quite tired. So we are in the town of Skagway currently right now, but I think we cruise overnight to, oh, sorry, we're not in Skagway. We're in Juneau right now. And I think tomorrow we cruise or cruise overnight to Skagway. Anyway, hit the subscribe button below, like this video, please leave a comment. What did you enjoy exploring or seeing today? And we will be back for day five. No, day five, day four. I don't even know what day we're on anymore. <laughs> That's how fun it is. Thanks so much for watching friends and I hope you have an awesome evening, day or afternoon. Ciao for now.